In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up the Audio Engine B1 high fidelity Bluetooth receiver to any home stereo. The installation technique that I'm going to show you will uh, work on any home stereo, whether it's a vintage receiver like this old Techniques or a modern AV receiver. Pretty simple to do. First, I like to hook up the audio. So what I do is I'm going to use the, in this particular installation, I'm going to use the analog outputs and I'm going to plug the analog output from the audio engine into my auxiliary input on the back of the stereo. If your it, it, auxiliary input is already used on your stereo, then maybe use a CD in or a VCR in or something like that. You can also use tape, tape one and tape two inputs. Do not use the phono input. The phono input is much too sensitive and it has a built-in equalization circuit in it. So not only will it overdrive your receiver by using this input, it will not sound correctly. So do not do that. I get a lot of questions about that. Take our male-to-male -male RCA connector and we're gonna plug it into the back of the receiver. Red is right. Get into that habit, red always being right. We're going to plug that uh, connector into the back of the audio engine. We have audio hooked up now. Now we're going to take the supplied micro USB cord and plug it into the back of the audio engine. We're going to use the supplied AC wall adapter. We're going to plug into that. And then we're going to um, make use of the 110 volt output on the back of the receiver. Most every home stereo receiver has 110 volt output plugs. Some are switched, some are unswitched, meaning if it's switched, it turns on and off when you turn on the power switch on the receiver on the front of the unit. Um, and then unswitched just being constant 110 volts. Some actually have both. This one does not. This one has unswitched only, so we can still utilize that. And if you're using a receiver that doesn't have a power switch on the front of the Bluetooth receiver, no worries. These don't really draw any current. You can always just leave them on. Now, on the audio engine device, this does not have a power off switch. What this has, this has a power on and pairing switch which is okay to use in this particular configuration because after you disconnect your device or whatever you're using to listen to stream through this, once you turn that off, after about 10 minutes, this will automatically shut off. Then when you turn on your phone or your paired device back on, it'll actually wake it back up. So we've got all of our connections made. So now what I would like to do is show you how to pair this device. We're gonna start from a, uh, a raw pair, I guess you could say, something that's not in memory, that uh, B1 is not in the phone's memory. So we're gonna do like a worst case scenario pair up. So what I like to do is turn the receiver on. I like to go to FM just to make sure we have like a decorative power. Remember we used auxiliary input, so we're gonna flip over to auxiliary input. The B1 is currently in a discovery mode, so let's turn on our Bluetooth on our device. And I am scanning for Bluetooth. It comes up with the Audio Engine B1. So I'm going to turn up the volume here a little bit. We're going to pair to it. The phone is asking me for permission to pair. I'm going to do that. It is now connected. We have a solid light. So let's listen to some music. Let's look for some non-copyrighted music. I like this song. This is Arabian Sand by E. Jammy Jams. This is uh, from YouTube. YouTube music is I like to preset my volume control on this. And, and what I like to do is I like to turn this up at what I believe will be my maximum listening volume. So if I'm working around the house, I want it a little extra loud, um, I'll maybe turn it up to, you know, 10 o'clock position. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the phone to be my remote volume control. 
okay? So let's start out, and if you don't know, you know, like how loud 10 o'clock position is on your stereo, may, maybe start out at nine o'clock or a very low volume. Let's start the music. Let's turn up the phone volume all the way. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the master volume on the receiver at a maximum level. Now what I can do is I can adjust my volume from zero to all the way up on my device. And that's that. That's simple, just that simple. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave questions or comments down below. And again, the uh, B1 will shut itself off after about 10 minutes after it is unpaired from the phone or the phone turned off. This is Bluetooth at its best. Thanks for watching.